Good looking now. G. a better sensation. Some people just feel like, you know, it's irritating down when they're private areas. Also, I feel like, to be honest with you, some girls try to trap guys, and guys, vice versa, try to trap girls, but some girls, you know, lie, say, oh, I'm on birth control, oh, you don't have to use wine, and, you know, it's just many different reasons, but, you know, that's some off the top. Why do you think people don't use condoms? Male or female? Both. One, because of the, as, as everybody knows, it takes away feeling. You know, from when you're having sex. From a guy's perspective, I can't speak from a female, from a guy's perspective, um, you know, it's nothing like, you know, just that, that raw feeling. Um, you know, and a lot of people get so caught up in that and get so caught up in the, the moment, you know, and they just want to get it in that they don't think about the consequences in the long run. Um, so, uh, and then from a female, you know, perspective, they don't want, you know, a dude to wear, you know, they may be allergic to it, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I believe that people don't work out. Interesting, guys. Thanks for your comments. And it's funny you should mention that because now we have the top ten reasons of why people should be using condoms. So number ten, you can't tell by just looking at someone if they're disease-free or not. So that's why it's important to use a condom each and every time you have sex because you don't know if they have an STD. Number nine, you and your partner haven't been tested. If you're not tested, you can't know for sure whether or not you have an STD. So it's important to get tested along with your partner every three to six months, just to be sure. Eight, you may have multiple partners or your partner may have had multiple partners. And if you're sleeping with more than one person, then it's important to use a condom because you don't know what that other person is doing, nor do you know what your partner's other people are doing either. Seven, it could save your life. Number six, is less stress on you and your partner. You don't have to worry about, do I have something? Am I pregnant? Or I'm not sure. So it's just important to be safe because now you don't have to worry about anything. Five. They're kind of cool. Now condoms come in different colors and flavors and shapes, so you can kind of spice things up a little bit. Four, you're not married, 
So there's no serious commitment in your relationship. So your partner may step out or you may step out. There's no commitment. Three, shows maturity. Taking charge of your sexual health is a very grown-up thing to do. Two, it prevents unwanted pregnancies. Not only can you get an STD, but you can get pregnant too. So if you're not looking to have children, then you need to use a condom also. And the number one reason for using a condom is it can prevent STDs. There are more than 25 different types of STDs, and using a condom can help reduce your risk of contracting all of these. So now we're going to show you how to use a condom. It's important to follow these simple steps to make sure that your condom works well every time. Keisha's going to walk us through it. All right. So we have our condom. We always, first thing you want to do is check the expiration date, which is on the back. The date should always be in the future. Um, after checking the expiration date, you want to check the condom. So you're checking for any holes or tears within the condom. There should be a little air pocket in the middle of the condom. If it's flat, then you don't want to use it because it's been compromised. Next, you want to open the condom up. So you don't want to use your nails or your teeth because you may tear the condom. So I just slowly move the condom over a little bit and use the rigid, air, the rigid sides on the condom just to open it up. So we've opened our condom, pull it out. Next, you want to make sure your condom is facing the right way. So it should look like a little hat. I like to blow in it to make sure it's standing up. These condoms are dry for demonstration purposes, but when using a condom, make sure that it's always lubricated and that you're using a water-based lubrication. So our condom is the right way, and to know that it's the right way, it looks like a little hat, and it doesn't look like a baby's nipple. So. Once we have our condom out, we want to pinch the tip of the condom. Always pinch the tip of the condom because you want to use, have room for ejaculation. Once you're pinching the tip of the condom, you're going to slowly roll down the condom to the base. All the way down to the base. And it should look like this. You see we have room at the tip of the condom for ejaculation. Notice also, too, if there's a bubble at the top, if it's not flat looking, then you can't use it because... If he ejaculates, then it's going to burst or break, and that's going to defeat the whole person. So, once you have the condom on, you know what you're supposed to do next. You know, you're supposed to get it on, bump and grind. You know, the neighbor's supposed to learn your name. So, after all that's done, make sure that he immediately removes the, his penis away from the vagina because once he ejaculates, his penis will get limp, and then the semen and stuff will come out. So once he immediately removes his penis from the vagina, you want to get a napkin or he should get a napkin. And you just want to take the condom, take the napkin, put it on top of the condom and slowly roll it up. Just slowly roll it up from the base until you get to about the tip and then grab it with the napkin. Once it's in the napkin, you want to ball it up and throw it in the trash. You do not want to flush it down the toilet because you're going to cause problems with your toilet and for kids. If you don't want your parents knowing that you're having sex, especially if it's in their house, throw it in their trash. Don't put it down the toilet because it may come back up. So those are a few steps to using a condom properly. Remember, we check the expiration date. We check to see if the condom had any punctures or holes in it. After that, we open the condom up, not using our nails or our teeth. We pinch the tip of the condom and slowly roll it down to the base. After that, we got it on, and then we took the condom off using a napkin so that you can catch all the semen and stuff, and then we threw it in the trash. So those are a few ways, well, those are the few steps that you need to do to use a condom properly. Thank you for watching The Hype. We'll see you next time. Bye. Good looking now. G. Trying to claim You probably never heard of this